What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Jack. We got Chris. He'll be on. He'll be you guys will be seeing him later on this video. But if you guys are new here, let me tell you guys a little bit what we're about. We have beta tanks. We have we have predatory fish tanks. We have a predatory pond. We have saltwater tanks. We have a beta sorority tank. And there's a whole lot more coming on this channel, you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell because this channel is taking off. We're posting five days a week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And today we are going to be talking about beta fish breeding. We have one of our male beta fish right over here and we have one of them in Brooke's room. If you guys have not seen him yet, you guys will be seeing him later on in this video. But... We will be breeding beta fish next week. So next week is a huge week for us. We have a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff planned. So make sure you guys turn on your post notification bell so you guys get notified as soon as we upload. Another thing, we did choose uh, the names for these four beta fish that we got in our last video and your comment will be popping up right here. Thank you guys so much for all those great names, everyone that commented down there. We really do appreciate all your comments and we read them all and we try to get back to as many people as we can. We're usually pretty good about it and if you guys are not following us on Instagram already, our Instagram will be right here. Uh, feel free to DM us whenever you guys want. We are really good about getting back to people on, on Instagram DM because there's not as many people that do it. So feel free. Anything, if you guys have any fish questions, any question about YouTube in general, or just maybe any ideas you guys may have that you want to talk one-on-one -on -one with us. So, so yeah, guys, feel free to do that. We love talking to you guys and we really appreciate every single one of you. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, obviously the first step of doing this whole breeding thing is you have to find two beta fish, one male, one female. We already have that. We have our sorority tank in that room, which a bunch of females ready to breed, and we have our male, our two males. We have Aries and George. I think we're going to be uh, breeding George, George next week. He's the all-white one, so that's what we're going to be working on. So obviously that's step one, and getting them in the right tank conditions is also very important. So after this step, we move on to step two, obviously. For step two, we are going to need to have a, a tank to breed these two beta fish in, which is going to be Aries' tank. So later on next week, we're going to be upgrading Aries' tank. So that way we have a 10 gallon tank to use as breeding. So obviously you need to set up the right conditions for these beta fish to actually breed. And guys, obviously when we're starting the breeding tank, there cannot be any sand or, right. or rock on the bottom. It has to be just an empty tank so that the fry or the babies don't get stuck in the bottom of the substrate. So it's just an open tank and they're good to grow. So that's also a really important thing that we need to establish and we need to get, once we upgrade Aries' tank, it'll just be empty and we'll have that's gonna be our breeding tank. Once Aries leaves his tank, he will be taking all the decoration that he has in there. So we are going to be needing to put a lot of decoration, or not decoration, but a lot of plants or hiding spots for the, the two betas to get away because obviously they will be nipping at each other. It's just part of the whole natural breeding process in general. But once we have everything set up correctly, we're gonna be moving into the next step, which is- Once the male is in the tank, then you're gonna to have to add your female, obviously. And you wanna do it the right way and the safest way. So you gotta in introduce them without actually introducing, introducing them. Introducing, like, exactly. it's like, it's like if you were in prison, okay? This is okay. Good. Sure. <laughs> It's like if you guys were to be in prison, and if somebody were to come up and want to visit you, you see them through a glass wall. And you're like, oh, I really wanna, I really wanna, really wanna hug you. Give me a handshake. Yeah. Like, this. like if I got arrested tomorrow, Chris wanted to come visit me, I really just wanna give Chris a hug. Yeah. You know, but it can't happen. Exactly. It just takes time. Yeah. It's a part of the whole. So you just let them get yeah. used to each other. You exactly. Let them get used to each exactly. Other, so it's not. Instead of just asking, jumping in. You know. You know? Exactly. Okay, so that's that's a good step. Say Conor McGregor and Khabib, they want to go right at it, but you can't. You gotta, you gotta let them see each other. You gotta let them, you know, anticipate everything, and then they go at it. You know. Yes. yes. Once you guys have the two betas actually in the tank, you can go ahead and do the honors, man. After maybe I think it, after like a day or two, um, release the thing out of the glass. Get them out. We're gonna put her in like a glass jar or something. Yeah. And we'll, then we'll take it out. Yeah. We'll, we'll, have her, we'll have her in the little, you know, like when you go from to Petco or Pet Supermarket, you buy them in that little thing, the little clear thing. We'll fill that up with the with the tank water, put her in there, seal that bad boy up, exactly. put her right down. So once that is happening, the, when the male is able to see the female, the male will create something called a bubble nest. He will bubble, spit up bubbles, or I don't know, like I, some yeah, sort just, of... It goes to the surface and that... that means that he's re either he's ready, ready to breed or he sees a female. So, so if, you're, if your male baited fish doesn't do that within the first couple of days, then your male is probably not mature enough. So yes. move on to the next next, next male. But we, we know our dog, 
he's always right shooting bubbles. He's everywhere. always he's like even like he's a fiend. Yeah, he's he's always shooting bubbles. Like yes. I don't know what he's on. But once we release the male and the and once we release the female to the male, we are going to be shutting off our filter to just leave the water still, so there's no like movement of water, and they can just sit there, do what they need to do, <laughs> get it done, and it's completely normal for the male and the female, like the male, to be nipping at the female to get her going. You know what I'm saying. But that's just the way they breed. That's, that's just, just nature. Are, it's know? nature. Okay. We're gonna be yeah, really... let, let it run its course a little yeah. bit. So then after that, they, when they do the thing, they will. <laughs> the female will start producing eggs. Once the male does his bubble nest, the female will drop eggs down to the bottom of the um, of the tank, and this is why you don't have any substrate on the bottom because the male needs to be able to pick them up and go bring them into their bubble nest. So yes. once the, once the uh, betta fish actually hatch, you'll be able to see them in the, in the little bubble nest, which can be really cool. Yes. And then they'll hatch and they'll swim around and then we gotta get everyone out and then we gotta be, we gotta look, we need to get uh, the correct food for these. Yes. Um, Small little microscopic, microscopic live, live. foods. Live, so that's live. really, really key is in live the food. Yes. Then once this happens, you remove the male from the tank so he's not, you know, Messing up all the babies or whatever, and you just leave the leave the little babies in there. Just let That's them it. do their thing. You feed them, them in there; they will grow. And then eventually, you're gonna have to take all the males out because they'll start fighting. Start fighting, yes. So then right. you have to put them each in their own little tank, mm -hmm. and then they will grow, grow, and, it's and gonna live. Be great, and it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna have a million beta fish. Hopefully, that'd be yes. awesome. Well. Yes. You guys just know that we're just not doing this just for you guys. We're doing this because we actually want to do it and we want to have a lot of betta fish and it's a free way to do it and it's a really cool way to do it. The females, as they get bigger, they can go into the Swarty tank, which is only a 20 gallon, but then we can upgrade it to the 40 and it's just going to be an awesome, awesome thing. And Chris and I really cannot wait for it all to happen and we're really excited to have you guys come along with us. You watching this video right behind the screen. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah. just turn your post notification bell on because this is all starting next week, yes. probably later on in the week, but it is happening. So yes, guys, as we were saying, this is the tank that we're gonna be using. Look, Aries is, he, he's a psycho too. Look at this bubble yeah. nest. Yeah, and there's no female even near him. Look yes. at this. He, there's no female and he's freaking out. So this is the tank we're gonna be using to breed. It's a 10 gallon, plenty of space, plenty of room, yeah. except we are gonna be taking the substrate out, obviously, because the eggs, we don't want the eggs to get caught in there. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll breed Aries. I don't know. He's really yeah. cool, and he's gonna—he would make really cool color babies because he's blue, blue and red. So right. um, we're gonna be upgrading his tank next week. So stay tuned for that video, and then we will be breeding these guys in we this don't. tank. Let's feed these guys a little bit. You know, get them going. We haven't done an update on uh, Aries. Look how dope he is. I wish we had a light on his tank, which we should probably get. But we'll feed him. And he's a food fiend. Food critic. He goes to all the restaurants. You know, writes his column on food. He's a beast. Now let's go feed George. Spillage. Spillage. Yeah, both these both these betas are doing super well. They're both very healthy. And uh, they're loving it. They're loving life in their tanks. George is going to be a father soon. Very exciting. Big George is going to be a daddy. I mean, he's a, he's a nut job. I mean, he's a total nut job. He goes crazy over everything. This is going to be the male beta that we are going to be breeding. His name is George, and he is good to go. He is fired up. Look at him. So he will be getting one of the lucky females. Definitely one of the bigger ones. Like, this one's quite small, but it's probably going to be her or her right down here. But it's most likely going to be this one that's swimming right will be here so we're gonna make sure that we feed her really well as well as we feed George and yeah I really cannot wait for this all to happen you guys it's gonna be absolutely sick to see this process actually happen and watch nature firsthand right there right in front of us so if you guys are hyped about it drop a like subscribe and uh, yeah this is all gonna be happening next week we've been talking about it for a very long time and the time has come so Chris and I cannot wait for it to happen, and make sure you guys subscribe because at 15,000 subscribers, an awesome tank room is going to be happening, and we cannot wait. And uh, yeah, the sooner we get there, the sooner it happens, so go down, subscribe, and uh, we'll be seeing you guys on Sunday. Peace.